Today, attorneys for a Missouri woman stood outside the Dirksen Federal Building. They allege in a lawsuit filed Friday against five companies that the company's hair relaxers caused the woman's uterine cancer. I am the first voice of many voices to come mm -hmm. that will stand, stand up to these companies and say no more. Jenny Mitchell says she was eight years old when she began using relaxer to straighten her hair. She says at 28, she had a complete hysterectomy. I'm 32 years old right now, and I'm still filling that void of not being able to bear my own child. Imagine those many chemicals being placed on your scalp every two weeks or every month for 10 years. That's what we're facing here. It is very heartbreaking to hear these accounts from these dozens and dozens of women that are calling us who are being diagnosed with uterine cancer at such young ages. Mitchell's attorneys refer to a new study from the National Institutes of Health that found an association between uterine cancer and using relaxers, which may impact more African-American women. So there's a lot of different factors that play in, but unfortunately, uterine cancer remains a, a cancer with a, a very big disparity in outcomes. Dr. Nita Lee is a gynecological oncologist with UChicago Medicine. And while she says more needs to be done on this issue, she says the study gives women information to consider. So more women are dying of this cancer and being diagnosed with this cancer. So as a whole, raising awareness of like what we could be thinking about and looking for causes is extremely important. Dr. Lee also shared this study shows the importance of having better minority representation in the sciences and in medical research studies. In Chicago, Leah Hope, ABC 7 News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.